Hello everyone. I'm Rahul. I'm presenting before you uh, a lecture on internal structure of Earth. So let's move forward. So first of all, what are the different layers of Earth? The Earth is mainly divided into crust, mantle, and core. Now, the mantle is divided into upper and lower mantle further, and core is divided into outer core and inner core. Now we know that the radius of the Earth is six three seven one kilometers, or approximately six thousand four hundred kilometers. Out of which, the crust. has also two types continental crust and oceanic crust continental crust is approximately 20 to 40 kilometers if you take an average over the whole earth and oceanic crust is 5 to 10 kilometer only the continental crust even extends to 70 kilometer at some places like tibet okay and oceanic crust is only 5 to 10 kilometers uh, and I will tell you just now that why they differ a lot. Now after the crust, we have upper mantle, then we have lower mantle, and this upper and lower mantle together comprises approximately 2,900 kilometers. As you can see, it is showing you. And then when we reach the outer core, and then after outer core, we reach the inner core. Now how do we have divided these uh, layers like what is the difference between one layer and other layer the difference in the difference is in the composition of mineral as well as rocks as well as the phase of the rocks okay so the outer core is approximately 2200 kilometers and inner core is approximately 1216 kilometers now uh, getting to the crust the crust is divided into two types continental and oceanic continental crust is made up of two layers upper one is felsic lower one is mafic and oceanic crust is made up of only one layer which is only mafic now what is this felsic and mafic? Felsic comprises feldspar plus silica. Feldspar is aluminosilicate. This is a mineral silicate. Okay. So felsic is mainly aluminium aluminium plus silicon. And what is mafic? Mafic is magnesium plus iron plus silica so it comprises the base of the crust you can say mafic and the felsic comprises the top of the crust especially the continental crust now <coughs> this is the difference because of this the continental crust is approximately 40 kilometers on an average and mafic or oceanic crust is 5 to 10 kilometers now after the crust we come to mantle now lower mantle <coughs> and upper mantle what is what what characteristic do we have here now the upper part of the upper mantle you can see here the upper part of the upper mantle is molten and lower part is solid upper pa uh, part of the upper mantle is molten kind of plastic okay so lower part is solid and the mantle in general comprises of oxides and sulfides of iron and magnesium okay and now coming to the core outer core is liquid and inner core is solid now why outer core is liquid is because the temperature here dominates pressure of the mass above the outer core and inner core is liquid sorry solid because 
the pressure dominates over temperature here okay now coming to the other classification uh, for the plate tectonics theory or how to understand tectonic uh, tectonic activities on our earth first of all we have continental crust you can see the thickness here it is much thicker than the oceanic crust which is 5 to 10 kilometers this is approximately 40 kilometers and now after 40 kilometers if you go more till 60 kilometers okay sorry till 100 kilometers you get lithosphere so lithosphere comprises crust plus some part of upper mantle okay that is still 100 kilometer after the crust and after the lithosphere we have a sthenosphere from 100 to 250 kilometers we have a plastic layer on which the lithosphere can move bodily so this is called a sthenosphere here it is written 200 kilometers and uh, the various classifications have classified it di differently because we still don't know exactly where the asthenosphere ends so I am taking that asthenosphere ends at 250 kilometers and then after the asthenosphere till 670 kilometers we have upper mantle upper part of upper mantle is lithosphere plus lithosphere plus asthenosphere like some part of lithosphere lithosphere this this whole okay and lower part of upper mantle is this solid portion till 670 kilometer you're seeing able to see you see here also it is written this is 660 kilometer or 670 kilometer after that we move along again if you want to know the width of the lower mantle you can just subtract 660 from 2900 and you will get the width of lower mantle okay and now if you talk about the core core comprises of iron plus nickel plus sulfur now iron is approximately 89 percent in the core nickel is five percent and rest of it is sulfur and oxygen okay now let's move ahead uh, what is this Mohorovicic discontinuity this is the boundary between the crust and mantle where the properties change abruptly so this was uh, named by the scientists and Rija Mohorovicic and after that we call it Mohorovicic discontinuity where one layer ends and other layer starts now nobody has seen this boundary obviously because we have not dug so deep okay and if you want to reach the uh, end of crust at least you have to dig till 40 kilometers then you can reach the uh, end of crust okay now what we see here at this boundary we can see a sharp increase in the speed of earthquake waves that's why you have divided into crust and mantle so this has been presumed to be a due to change in rock types now the crust mainly comprises silica okay i will tell you just after few slides the composition of crust also and composition of whole earth also so crust is mainly of silica and oxygen so in the mantle the properties change and it turns into what it turns into uh, silicates and oxides of iron and iron and magnesium okay so that's why you gave this name and now if you want to know the deepest India sorry deepest we have dug till now is in Kola Peninsula which we have been dug out till 12 kilometers after that they close this uh, hole this is nearby the Scandinavian countries like Sweden okay now let's move ahead now it's uh, very important to remember that crust is just one percent of the total volume of the earth and its mass is 0.5 percent of the total mass of the earth 
mantle comprises 83% of the volume of the earth and its mass is 67% of the mass of the earth core comprises 16% of the mass sorry volume of the earth and its ma mass comprises 32.5% of the mass of the earth if you make a total of volume as well as mass it will come out to be 100% this means this is completely right okay now you can easily see crust continental crust is more wider oceanic is less wider after th this till the first 100 kilometers we have lithosphere and after that till the 250 kilometers we have asthenosphere and this part and this part is part of mantle okay so let's move ahead now we have divided earth into layers so what are the uh, like the characteristics on which we have based this division first of all the scientists study the earthquake waves if there's change in the speed that means some difference is there between two places now there also has been laboratory experiments of surface minerals and rocks at high pressure and temperature because as we move down the pressure and temperature increases in the earth the third one is the geological observation of surface rocks how do they look what uh, what all uh, is their composition okay so fourth one is earth's motion is studied and its gravity and magnetic field is studied obviously the magnetic field of earth is due to the the internal motion or the convectional currents that we have inside earth now you should know that as the outer core is liquid so these out this outer core moves this liquid in the outer core moves due to which we have magnetism of earth these are called convectional current convectional currents okay and the fifth one is flow of heat from inside of earth obviously we have many sources like volcanism and uh, hot springs by which the heat comes from the lower uh, parts of the earth to the upper part with the help of that we can find out the uh, the inner minerals that are present suppose in a stratosphere we have magma when blast occurs or volcanic eruption occurs this magma comes out and spreads it like this and when this magma comes out it becomes lava and gets solidified on the volcano and its vicinity and then we take the layer of this rock and we study it in the laboratory to find out what is its composition and now the one more fact is the deepest mine in the world is in south africa it is four kilometer deep okay and also in search of oil engineers have dug six kilometer deep so let's move ahead now coming to it clearly first of all crust mantle and core now crust oceanic crust is denser than continental crust you should remember as we go down inside the earth the density will increase okay so the top of the crust we have density of 2.2 at the bottom of the crust we have density of 2.9 and as we move down ahead the density increases upper mantle has 3.4 the top the bottom of the upper mantle has 4.4 obviously the bottom and top will match the bottom of the lower mantle is having 5.6 density the top of the outer core is having 9.9 .9 density and the bottom of the outer core is having 12.2 .2 density then again the inner core is having 12.8 density and the bottom of the inner core that is approximately near the center of the earth we have 13.1 density in gram per centimeter cube okay so types of rock found in crust in crust we have silicic rock i already told you that it's rich in silica and basalt is at base 
नाउ यू शुड रिमेंबर दैट कॉन्टिनेंटल क्रस्ट आर ग्रेनाइटिक इन नेचर एंड दियोशियनिक क्रस्ट आर बसाल्टिक दैट्स वाई इट इज सेइंग बसाल्ट एट बेस बिकॉज द लोअर पार्ट ऑफ द कॉन्टिनेंटल क्रस्ट एज वेल एज द ओशियनिक क्रस्ट वी हैव बसाल्ट in the upper mantle we have various types of minerals the main you need to remember is olivine and pyroxene then in lower mantle we have oxides of silicon as well as magnesium outer core we have an iron plus oxygen plus sulfur plus nickel i have already told you about it that we have iron plus nickel iron 89 nickel 5 similarly in the inner core so let's move ahead now for the bulk composition of earth that which is the predominant element in the earth we just need to have a ascending or descending order i will write it in descending order first of all the highest concentration in the earth is of iron then the concentration is of oxygen then there is of silicon and then there is of magnesium so you should remember this order that in earth iron is greater than oxygen is greater than silicon is greater than magnesium if you talk about crust only then we have oxygen is having the highest concentration then we have silicon then we have aluminum and then we have iron so you should remember obviously because in crust what do we have in crust is the top most part of the earth it is directly in contact with atmosphere it is porous so more oxygen percolates inside so oxygen will be more and also silica will be more and then there will be heavy elements like aluminum and iron so let's move ahead to the next slide so here we have the definition of asthenosphere i have already discussed with you uh, twice about this concept but still once more continental crust maximum 70 km average 20 40 km oceanic crust 5 to 10 km below we have rigid mantle this is called lithosphere till here total is called lithosphere and then we have asthenosphere it is also called convective mantle because we have convectional current here magma is produced here and uh, this magma moves out with the help of volcanic eruption in the form of lava when it contacts with the air so the asthenes the very word itself literally means weak so it is weak that's why it can move it is not completely solid it is plastic layer okay it is approximately 1300 degree celsius temperature with in which the minerals are in molten state so asthenosphere is semi rigid or plastic in the middle mantle and it flows like hot asphalt under a heavy weight fine so it is believed that the magma is formed in asthenosphere the slow movement in this zone may disturb the overlying lithosphere and this leads to tectonic activities we will be talking about the tectonic activities in the later classes so Thank you everyone please like comment and subscribe to www.decipherais.com please like our facebook page